two territories of the game in Rose Bowl. Is there a mo most memorable moment that you've had from the previous one that you played in? Um, I think last year definitely is up there, but um, I think the last time back in 17 when we ended up getting DeMario is a uh, um, thousand, yard, thousand yard year in that game. So um, that was something cool to have to where you had back to back years now where we've had someone rush for a thousand yards in, in that game to go out and get it. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to avoid that whole, that whole thing because it's no. Yeah, um, it, it's, it is definitely something. It was funny because there's a couple seniors yesterday talking about it. Um, we we're just sitting in the locker room and it was like, I don't think it's gonna hit me there on the field. It'll be when I'm sitting at back at home with my parents having dinner after the game. It's like, oh crap. Okay, yeah, um, that was my last one at home. Um, I think the easiest way to say it is when people talk about this game, it's the other people down south. You never say the name. I mean, yet, yesterday when we were at the um, St. Mary's food drive, even the guys there that were ASU alums were like, "Hey, go kick their uh, go kick their butt!" Like we hate them. Um, it was awesome. There was one person that walked up and she's like, "Hey, I got to do it," and she just had the bear down. And everyone just lost it on her. Um, but yeah, it's it, it's definitely something. I mean. There's so much that goes into this game. I mean, everyone kind of just hates each other uh, for whatever reason. Um, but I mean, it's something that you come to learn over the years. Like when you're, when I first got here, I didn't really see it. But the more I've been here, the more I've played in the games, you start to understand why um, those older guys do have a hatred for each other. Mm -hmm. Um, I think with the way that they're bringing guys up, with being able to put guys in situations to um, kind of grow or in a way be kind of thrown in the fire and learn, um, especially now with having the, the new four-game rule and still being able to redshirt definitely helps with that. Um, just because now you can have guys go out and really learn how the game's played, the speed of the game, and still have the opportunity to redshirt. Um, they're learning. I mean, they're they're on track. I mean, I think some of them are going to be better off than the guys that we have now that are here um, when they get to our our spot. Um, just because they've been able to come in, hang out, hang with us, learn from us, um, and even sometimes they're playing better than we are. Um, and then you go and look at them in practice. They're developing. We're giving them opportunities throughout practice to work with the one group um, against the one defense, and they're getting an opportunity all week just to play against a starting. Pac-12 defense. Um, so now they're being able to see it all practice, all week, for years at a time at some, for some guys. And then when they get their opportunity, they've already seen the speed of the game. They understand it. Um, it's not anything new to them. Did you feel like the other than the by the time Yeah, we knew, I mean, we knew what they were going to do a lot of the time, depending on the fronts. Um, I mean, the hardest thing for us to get over was those false starts for us just because it was it was their drive killers. I mean, we lucked out a couple times where they were on first down, and we still did have four downs to make the 15 yards back up. Um, but there is the thing. It's like, okay, now there's a penalty. Like, what do we do? Are we going to change things up? What, what's going on? Um, but I think you know, as a group, we are just set on what we needed to do, took a chip off our shoulder, um, didn't want to have what happened last year to us where it came down to one play um, that could have determined our outcome of the whole season. Cole, what's your best memory of playing in Southern State? Um, there's a few. I mean, knocking off a couple top five teams, top ten teams is always fun. Um, I mean, just having the group of guys that we've come together with to win those games is awesome. And the fact that we've knocked off number five, we've knocked off number six, um, Oregon two years ago, when, when whatever they were. Um, it is awesome to see that as a group, when we play those high caliber teams, we're able to play with them.
um, that we're not going to allow complacency. I um, mean, we're going to nip things in the butt when it starts, um, find ways where we can make things or make changes um, throughout the week or, um, you know, over the last couple of weeks, we've been trying new things at practice structure-wise um, with different uh, periods of competition stuff, different things like that, um, and giving guys an opportunity to continue working, get better, and putting opportunities that are more similar to a game um, so that when we go out on Saturday, it's similar. Um, a little bit, but I think it was more of them putting it on the seniors, the older group, because this is their last game at home, um, or it was going to be their last two. Um, so that they were taking charge and not letting things slip because of, in their eyes, it is their last time they're going to suit up and go out on that field at some point. Um, and a lot of young guys don't realize it because they don't see the, the big picture of how quick things start moving once you start getting older um, to where they can go out and play for the older guys and continue in the – yeah, you're playing your game, but you're playing a game for the guys around you, too. Um, pick it up I and mean, continue working. I mean, there's going to be the point where it's hard to wake up in the morning. you got to keep doing it um, and just leading by example just because there's guys that are going to look that are going to look to you for advice or look and see what you're doing because guys are going to follow how that happens. Um, and being in a situation where I am where – if I'm walking around, everyone else is going to follow. Making sure that you're leading by example, proving the point for guys that are freshmen that are playing scout team for us, that you're willing to go the extra mile throughout practice, throughout the year, that you're not going to allow things to slack off. Nicole, what do you think will be the legacy of your senior class? Oh, um, I would say the leadership. Just the fact that there's been a lot of guys that have been in situations for a long time um, that they can go out and show what how things are supposed to be done, how summers are supposed to work, how springs are supposed to work with um, taking charge of uh, having player-led practices over the summer, things like that, and how things are supposed to be run when the coaches aren't around. Yeah, I mean, I think from a, a whole perspective or a whole group of it um, that everyone played as hard as they could for four quarters and leaving it out there. Um, I mean, there we knew they were going to be a good team. It was going to be a dogfight. It wasn't going to be able to go out and, oh, hey, you're going to put up 24 points in the first half, um, that we were going to have to go out there, weather the storm, keep working. And at some point, someone's got to fall, um, whether it was us or it was them, and it just fell in our favor that we were the ones that came out on top. Um, I think it's just more mature and looking at things in a way of, hey, we got to take care of things, um, not panicking when things go wrong, um, just taking what's given to him and making the best of the opportunity every time the ball's in his hands. Um, I mean, the balls he was throwing up, I mean, it's there's some nuts on the kid to go out and throw uh, some of those balls that he had. Um, Especially, I mean, that last one, there was stuff going on after the game where we're like, okay, who called that one? Or like, where was that ball supposed to go? Because it was, what, third and short or whatever, and they just threw a 75-yard bomb off of it. So I was like, okay, I guess that's one way to win it.